Hello from Slovenia again. I <laughs> was inspired by spring. It's already kind of showing. Today it's cold again, but it was so nice and first flower starts to bloom and everything. And because I love flowers, I will do a reverse flower dip today with bubble wrap. But, you know, I will kind of try to draw some leaves, some stems, some flowers, and then just put my um, bubble wrap down and make it more abstract because I don't know how to draw <laughs> a flowers in a nice way, but I like the abstract look that you can achieve with this technique, with um, some other fluid art acrylic pouring techniques. So, my colors today are mixed with Elmer's glue pouring medium. That is 60% Elmer's glue all and 40% water. And this is my consistency. I mix them about one to one. One part paint, one part pouring medium. It leaves a mound and kind of disappears in a second or two. This is light gold by Amsterdam and they, I have my pearl white mixture that it's Vallejo pearl medium mixed with titanium white and again this pouring medium and this second one oh my god this one thickened up on me I'm not used to my pouring medium doesn't thicken up so soon um, but with the glue pouring medium you have to if you mix them, I don't know, half an hour ago, you have to check again. And I will do that. Uh, so here I mixed some Reflex Rose by Amsterdam with Pebeo Iridescent Violet Blue. And I love this color. This is this one. This is Permanent Magenta by Windsor and Newton. And I mixed a little bit of red blue by Pebeo. This is just permanent red violet by Amsterdam. And this is Pebeo chrome oxide green. And this one is olive green light by Amsterdam. Okay. And uh, I want to have my pearl white for the base because I want kind of springy, nicely looking thing. And I hope that I will get some that uh, lacing and effect that it will create. Uh, this nice spring feel I hope so uh, I don't know how to explain that <laughs> um, but I want to to be more subtle maybe this is the word sometimes word just can't describe what your brain is thinking Just try to spread this like that, kind of an even way. And I have quite a lot of air bubbles because I just mix that pouring medium. This is what I'm not used to with my pouring medium either because I don't get so many air bubbles then with glue pouring medium okay so let's see first i want some i will do just some stripes kind of along the canvas So 
or maybe it wasn't the best idea. Maybe some. Just playing. Um, I like fluid art, you know, because you can just kind of do some stuff like that. Don't need to draw an exact thing, and it's still kind of. Okay. I need something right there like that, maybe. I don't know. I will. I can always add and I will probably add some more green on top. So now to the flowers. I will place my bubble wrap like that and I will pull it towards me so the pattern will kind of pull to this side so I have to start kind of there so I will do one right here and I will do just the spirals kind of and one bigger one right here Happen. And I will place my uh, bubble wrap down with uh, bumps towards the canvas. So let's put it down nicely. Okay, and now I will go around and press this. With napkin I don't like to press too much because napkin already suck in some of the paint but here with this is another story so we will see. My motto is if you don't try you don't know so love to try things and sometimes they work sometimes they don't that's how it is so let's see what will happen I used pearl white for the base and there is a ton of air bubbles with bubble wrap dip but it's okay I really 
like it. I really do. Wow. abstract flowers I believe I like them okay so let me take it down for a close-up of the wet results okay, look, so here she is I like it all those little lacing with that I I'm happy that I did some drops of paint around And the flowers look looks nice. And the green and the lacing is just gorgeous. Love it. And um, I hope that you understand now what I was talking about at the beginning when I said that I want pearl white for the base to get kind of a subtle look because here those you know lacing little lacing areas in the background they are just beautiful and you see I didn't need any pearl white in the flowers and I still got some beautiful lacing I love it I really do I love this Ooh, okay I probably I will probably try this again with um, layering my flowers a little differently but I'm happy with this one for now. So stay tuned for the dry results. Hopefully it will be dry till tomorrow when I will publish this video. She's not completely dry. And I have some bumps. I don't know why. See that white. Maybe I didn't torch it enough or there were some bumps but I can put the resin on top and it will be okay but I love the painting I really do I will I maybe miss some I don't know <laughs> uh, of those kind of little ones but I like it anyway. I will definitely try to do more, maybe Add some colors like in a tulip shape or something, I don't know. But definitely with the pearl white background because I like the effects of that kind of washy look or how can I say. I love those little drip ones. I'm happy. Tell me what you think about it and uh, this Sunday live 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time we will celebrate my birthday that it's tomorrow and my, my 400k subscribers so join me 3 p.m. Sunday on my channel. See you there. Bye.